This is the question mark kick, and it's absolutely devastating. The man who popularized this technique was Globe Feitosa, a Brazilian karateka master who ventured into K1 kickboxing during the early 2000s and used it to punish the best heavyweights in the world. The key to setting up the technique is through deception. Feitosa would condition his opponents to expect him to kick low, either to the legs or to the body. Once his opponents were conditioned, Feitosa would faint low, then whip his kicking leg up in a semicircular motion, emulating the shape of a question mark and attack up high. While many other fighters possess the technique, to actually knock an opponent out with it is a rare occurrence. However, Feitosa did that routinely. What made him so effective? Well, for starters, he threw the kick with an insane amount of speed. I mean, look at that. His opponent thinks he's getting kicked in the leg. The next second, he's on the canvas. Additionally, Fitosa could cover a ridiculous amount of distance with the technique. This allowed him to land over an opponent's guard, even if they were expecting the kick to come. He even caught the seven-foot semi shilt flush with the kick. Feitosa's weaponization of the question mark kick made him a legend in the combat sports world. Many now refer to the technique as the Brazilian kick because of how popular Feitosa made it. He retired in 2009, but his impact on the sport is still seen today. Former Glory middleweight title challenger and UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya has utilized the technique at an extremely high level in both kickboxing and MMA. Even after a decade away from the game, however, nobody has come close to mastering the question mark kick like Feitosa did. And odds are, nobody ever will.